Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Baby Scorpio, or you guys can call me Leah. And in today's pick a card reading, this is going to be what are you unbecoming for your next glow up? So I have three piles for you guys. The first pile is going to be amethyst, and it looks like this. The second pile is going to be labradorite, and it looks like this. And the last pile is going to be Unikite, and it looks like this. So I will have the timestamps down below in the comment section so you guys can check them out from there. Or you guys can choose your pile slash piles in the next clip. So let's get it. Let's go, y'all. So again, pile number one is going to be Amethyst. Pile number two is going to be Lapis Lazuli. And pile number three is going to be Unikite. I'm going to give you guys time to meditate. And we're going to get into pile number one. Hey pile number one, welcome to your reading. So before I get into your cards or anything, I'm going to tell you why you chose this amethyst crystal. So with this crystal, I'm getting that you guys could be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio or have heavy Scorpio placements in your chart. But I'm getting that you guys are unbecoming a jealous type of person, okay? You guys are like really stepping into your power of feeling whole within yourself and you guys are accepting yourself for who you guys are. You guys are not looking at anybody else's material position possessions and being like oh like I wish I had that you guys are actually aligning yourself with the material possessions that you guys want in your life in order to move forward in your present moment okay so I'm getting that you guys' glow up is really just getting into alignment, really listening to your intuition and following your intuition, not just listening, but like actually following your intuition. Even if you guys are like a little bit shaky when it comes to moving forward in your faith, you guys are like unbecoming unfaithful um, when it comes to like your plans, okay? So it's like you guys are like really becoming this person of uh, following your intuition and really looking at the plans from a divine perspective and just moving forward. So you guys are like becoming a lot more spiritual and just aligning yourself with like your spiritual energy because I'm getting that you guys are very logical and you guys are like becoming a lot more balanced okay so with that being said let's get into your overall energy and I use the moonlight oracle deck and it says universal love it says choose love so i'm getting that you guys are unbecoming just jealous hearted people okay so i'm getting like even if you guys don't mean to be jealous or it's like you guys have like this urge of like being jealous but you guys don't really want to be jealous you guys are getting over that and being whole within yourself i'm getting that you guys are letting go of any type of like selfish energy that you guys had in the past this feeling of like you guys not feeling whole within yourself gossiping i'm getting that you guys are letting that go in order to move forward in this universal love move forward in this energy of feeling healed within yourself so i'm getting that you guys are letting go of any family members any people places environments that make you feel stuck in your life or make you feel like you guys are not good enough okay so you guys are letting that go you guys are becoming a person who is fulfilled within themselves okay so you guys are letting go of unfulfilled you guys are letting go of feeling trapped okay so maybe you guys felt like trapped or stagnant in your present moment and you guys are unbecoming that you guys are unbecoming this person that feels like they can't move forward for some reason okay because I'm getting that you guys have the plans to move forward, but it's like you guys are not acting on it as of right now, or you guys are like taking baby steps. And Spirit is saying like, if you guys are taking baby steps, continue to take those baby steps in order to get out of this energy of stagnation. So I'm getting that you guys are unbecoming stagnant in your life, okay? So with that being said, let's get into your tarot cards. 
and with the first card that I have is the Ace of Wands. So I'm getting that if you felt uninspired or you felt like you guys were not getting any ideas or you guys just felt stagnant in your creativity, you guys are becoming more inspired in your life, okay? So you guys are getting into that energy of feeling inspired, listening to your intuition, listening to the divine, um, getting in touch with like your shadow side. So you guys are in touch with like, what you guys need to work on spiritually that's what i'm getting like you guys are doing your shadow work so you guys are really diving deep in your shadow work and really cleansing yourself from the inside and out okay so i'm getting that again you guys are working on feeling fulfilled within yourself and once you work on feeling fulfilled within yourself, you guys are going to re-inspire yourself, okay? So I'm getting that this inspiration is coming strictly from within, okay? Because I'm getting that you guys may look upon like inspiration from other people and spirit is really wanting you guys to like look deep within and create something deep within so you guys are unbecoming like uninspired okay you guys are diving deep in your creations or diving deep in these ideas that you guys thought were no good and you guys are coming back to those ideas and like taking action towards them so i'm getting that if you guys have like a book of ideas or a notepad or um, something in like your digital phone like notes or something about what you guys want to take action towards next you guys are going to re-inspire yourself to take action towards those activities okay so I'm getting that you guys are coming out of like this dark night of the soul or this darkness this energy of anxiety energy of feeling like you guys are not worthy enough to create something from your heart chakra okay so I'm getting that you guys are really putting in the work to move forward Forward. so you guys could be in Aries or have fire in your chart so Aries Leo or Sagittarius or I'm getting that your name could start with a D it could be Daniela David and your name could also have like an E in it okay I'm getting somebody's name is like Elizabeth okay so with that being said let's get into your other cards before I just like go on and on and on so with the next card, I have the Four of Wands. So you guys are unbecoming unstable in your household, okay? So I'm getting that you guys are really connecting to the people that you guys are around. You guys could be networking a lot more. You guys are unbecoming antisocial, okay? So you guys are really stepping into like this Gemini season. Even though this is like a timeless reading, I'm getting like Gemini energy of where you guys are really heavily focused on communication in like your home life i'm getting that you guys could be inviting people over you guys could have like just bought a new house or you guys are on the verge to buying a new house and you guys are really like financially setting up for that or you guys are like setting up for it like spiritually as of right now so that you guys can take action towards it so i'm getting that you guys are working on your stability in your home life as well as in your body like working on the stability that you guys have in your body so this could be that you guys are unbecoming a person who procrastinates a lot or a person who like says they're going to do something and then doesn't do it so you guys are sticking to your word and really building that trust with yourself okay so that you guys can build that stable foundation with yourself and with the next card, I have the Four of Swords. So you guys are unbecoming this burnt out type of person, okay? You guys are unbecoming burnt out and you guys are using your energy wisely, okay? I'm getting that you guys are listening to your intuition. I'm also getting that you guys have certain dreams that are coming to you and Spirit is saying like these certain dreams are messages that are for like your future or for like your present moment for the day so spirit is saying be aware of that so you guys are unbecoming like unaware of who you guys truly are and i'm getting that you guys are unbecoming unaware of who you guys truly are because you guys are resting a lot more you guys are resting your mind body and soul and i'm getting that you guys are doing things in a very balanced way you guys are not afraid of who you guys are you guys are unbecoming afraid of like your potential okay 
you guys are really stepping into your potential by resting your body allowing yourself to relax when you guys need to rest okay so with your next card let me move these cards over real quick okay so with your next card i have the queen of swords in reverse i'm getting that you guys are unbecoming a person who is a b-i-t-c-h okay so i'm getting that you guys are unbecoming somebody who is super hard on themselves somebody who is unstable emotionally okay and i'm getting that you guys are like really connecting with your inner child and like really healing your inner child especially your inner teen okay so i'm getting that you guys are unbecoming that version of yourself by really healing that part of yourself by doing certain activities that like help you connect with that part of yourself okay so i'm getting that you guys are heavily doing your shadow work okay like you guys are doing the work okay so with that being said let's get into your other card i have the nine of pentacles in reverse so i'm getting that you guys are unbecoming afraid of your potential unbecoming afraid of like you dressing how you guys want to dress i'm getting that you guys are like really breaking down those foundations when it comes to like your style and being like okay this is what i want to wear and this is what i'm gonna wear so i'm getting that you guys are really becoming comfortable with your body okay so you guys are letting go of that version of yourself that didn't feel comfortable in your body you guys are letting go of that version of yourself that didn't feel stylish that didn't feel like you guys belonged you guys are making like your own belonging in certain areas or certain environments okay you guys are making yourself feel seen okay and with the next card i have the tower card so like i said before you guys are breaking down a lot of like foundations that no longer serve you you guys are coming into this true version of yourself and you guys are feeling a lot more successful because of who you guys are and because you guys are taking action towards the people places environments that are for your highest good you guys are not allowing like these family members or these friends like i'm getting like ex-friends or ex romantic partners to stand in your way and tell you who you guys still are in your present moment so i'm getting that you guys are unbecoming like a girlfriend or a boyfriend to like an ex okay so i'm getting that you guys are like really letting go of like these people in the past like I'm getting like you guys are letting them go spiritually so you guys could have like broke up with them or they could have like broke up with you but I'm getting that you guys were like still holding on to them so I'm getting that you guys are really letting them go in order to live your life as like a single person and if you guys aren't single I'm getting that you guys are really letting go of these um, limitations doubts or fears in your relationship so that you guys can have a healthy and stable relationship with your romantic partner or with your friends or with your family okay so with that being said let's get into your moonology cards and with the first card that i have it's the a win-win outcome is forecast it says full moon in libra so you guys could be a libra or have libra in your chart but i'm getting that you guys are really unbecoming a person who feels lost in love so i'm getting that you guys are like really absorbing this energy of just feeling good about yourself feeling whole within yourself even if you guys don't have a relationship you guys are still happy within yourself you guys are happy that you guys are alive okay i'm getting that you guys are like really celebrating life okay and i'm getting that you guys are really coming out of this energy of feeling like you guys were still in like that winter energy this energy of where you guys just wanted to be in the house all the time or you guys felt like you guys were just wanting to be in like a little box okay like you guys just wanted to say i want to say normal okay because i'm getting that you guys are very unique and you guys wanted to put yourself in a box you guys wanted to be very small and i'm getting that you guys are unbecoming that you guys are really accepting your flaws or the parts of yourself that make you unique so that you guys can actually win in love so i'm getting that you guys are attracting a lot better in love and i'm getting that it's 
it's like you guys are attracting love on like a different vibration on a higher vibration so you guys are unbecoming this low vibrational person or this person who just feels like they're not worthy enough for the material things or the love that they deserve i'm getting like this could be self-love and this could also be like romantic love as well so you guys are unbecoming that version of yourself so that you guys can feel worthy of love on all different levels okay so with the next card, I have the card, step out of your comfort zone. It says North Node. So I'm getting that you guys are unbecoming a person who just like stays in the house all the time or somebody who just stays in their little box. So if you guys are not just staying in like the house all the time, you guys are going to different environments. Like you guys are unbecoming a person who just goes to like the same places over and over and over again. And you guys are actually stepping out of your comfort zone. You guys are accepting who you guys are like spiritually and really like becoming that version of yourself that you guys want to become because i'm getting like you guys can feel this new version of yourself like on the verge to like moving forward but it's like you guys are trying to keep yourself in a box by like staying in the house or like staying in a position of where you just feel stagnant that's what i'm getting okay and I'm getting like you guys have like a lot of purple in your reading and like your spread. And this is because you guys are heavily connected to the divine. And it's like you guys need to connect to your intuition in order to move forward and not be afraid of your intuition. That's what I'm getting. Like you guys are unbecoming afraid of your intuition, afraid that you guys might be wrong. Spirit is saying it's okay that you guys might be wrong, but you guys need to build your trust with yourself. And in order to trust somebody else so i'm getting that if you guys have any type of like trust issues you guys are unbecoming a person who has those issues because you guys are trusting yourself and you guys are using your discernment while moving forward in your present moment okay and with the card emotions are running high i'm getting that you guys are balancing out your emotions like you guys are unbecoming somebody who is emotionally um unintelligent you guys are actually becoming more emotionally intelligent because you guys are getting your emotions in check so i'm getting that you guys could be journaling more or that's something that you guys need to be doing or it's something that you guys need to be doing with your shadow work is journaling or just documenting how you guys feel every single single day this could be like you guys doing video diaries any type of like journaling that you guys feel like you guys need to do that's how you guys are going to get closer to this next glow up okay so with the priestess of light oracle cards i have the card go with the flow it says letting go and cleansing and receiving so i'm getting that you guys are feeling a lot worthy of yourself like you guys are letting go of this part of yourself that is in need to control every single aspect of your life needing to know like what's gonna happen next how is it gonna happen where is it gonna happen like spirit is like okay relax everything is going the way that it should go okay so i'm getting that you guys could be meditating more in order to get your emotions in check or you guys could be like really trusting the divine really trusting yourself in order to choose the right options that are for your highest good so going with the flow allowing yourself to receive from the people around you okay and I'm getting that you guys are like really cleansing your aura a lot. And that's how you guys are unbecoming this old version of yourself. Like cleansing your aura daily or cleansing your aura like I'm getting like in the shower. So you guys are like doing a lot of like water cleansing. So like when you guys go in the shower, you guys are like, okay, I'm cleansing my energy from the day that I had today. So I'm getting like that type of energy. You guys are like really cleansing yourself from the daily routine and you guys are like creating a new routine. That's what I'm getting for some people. And with the next card, I have the card power over difficulty. It says reclaiming your power. So you guys are unbecoming a doormat. So I'm getting that if you guys let people walk all over you in the past or you guys are still continuing to let people walk all over you in the past, 
when it comes to like your next glow up that is no longer going to be an issue like you guys are really stepping into your power and being like okay you guys are not going to treat me like this and you guys are setting up those healthy boundaries so i'm getting that if you guys were a person who didn't have boundaries or a person who was like a pushover you guys are unbecoming that you guys are really stepping into your power and being like this is what i want this is who i am and i'm not afraid of anything that is trying to keep me in this box okay so i'm getting that you guys are really taking your power back in a lot of these situations that you guys were in in your past okay and with the next card it says friendship it says support fun unity and play so i'm getting that you guys are unbecoming somebody who doesn't cater to their inner child or somebody who ignores their inner child you guys are really healing your inner child by communicating like properly to the people around you really saying when certain things hurt your feelings and accepting your emotions okay i'm getting like you guys are like really working on some heavy emotional like trauma or heavy emotional issues okay because i'm getting like you guys are unbecoming a person who is just like a victim okay you guys are no longer in this victim mentality and you guys are working on like your friendships you guys are working on building those solid relationships and cleansing out those people who don't serve you cleansing out these people who just want to see you in that box who want to see you in this energy of not winning not feeling fulfilled within themselves okay and I'm getting with the next cards from the Dream Decoder deck. I have the card Insect and Reptiles. So I'm getting that you guys are really letting go of like this negative energy. You guys are unbecoming like a negative person, somebody who is like pessimistic, and you guys are like coming into this energy of being more optimistic in your life okay because i'm getting like you guys are like taking steps to becoming more optimistic in order to see the good that you guys have in your life so i'm getting that you guys could be working on like saying your gratitudes okay like being more grateful for what you guys have and you guys are like releasing this fear of what's gonna happen next if i do this what's gonna happen so i'm getting like you guys are letting go of like that negative energy that you guys feel and like really stepping into like your faith okay and with the card being late i'm getting that you guys are no longer procrastinating like procrastination is something that is going to be you in the past you guys are really getting on like a schedule or really getting into a system you guys are really stepping into this energy of where it's like if you want it you're gonna go after it like that's the energy that i'm getting this energy of where you're unbecoming a person who is lazy you guys are unbecoming a person who like lacks clarity okay because i'm getting like for some people it's not even that you guys are lazy it's that you guys are heavily burnt out like you guys literally cannot move forward in your life because you guys are burnt out you can't even think of like a sense of clarity like you can't even get clarity because you guys are burnt out so i'm getting that you guys are like going to actually relax actually take some time to relax your mind body and soul and not feel guilty about it i'm getting that you guys are unbecoming guilty for relaxing or taking care of yourself okay and with the next card it says flying without wings so i'm getting that you guys are unbecoming a person who doesn't take risk in their life okay so you guys are about to take a lot of risk in like your next chapter in your life and you guys are unbecoming a person who is afraid of taking action in their life okay you guys are really accepting who you guys are on a deep level and with the last cards from the power of love oracle deck i have the card patience so if you guys weren't patient before you guys are becoming patient now so you guys are unbecoming a person who is like trying to rush everything okay and i'm getting that because you guys are becoming more punctual your patience is getting a lot better okay so when you guys are on time spirit is saying your patience is going to get a lot better and i'm getting like your patience with people 
is definitely going to be tested but spirit is saying you guys are going to get better at being tested when it comes to like your patience okay so spirit is saying you guys need to relax like that's what i'm getting for this pile like you guys need to relax and i'm getting like you guys are unbecoming stressed out in certain situations okay you guys are going with the flow in a lot of situations in your next chapter okay and with the card peacefulness i'm getting that you guys are letting go of drama gossip any energy that is keeping you stagnant in your present moment you guys are letting that go in order to actually like feel free okay because i'm getting that you guys are working on your inner peace you guys are working on like your heart chakra working on these areas in your life that you guys didn't feel fulfilled in okay you guys are really coming into this energy of where you gain this clarity in order to move forward so you guys could be working on just meditating a lot more or setting up time so that you guys can meditate or getting up a lot earlier so that you guys can meditate and i'm getting that you're just saying when you look good you feel good so somebody could be getting up a lot earlier so that you guys could do your makeup or do your hair or just put on an outfit that you guys feel good in okay you guys are unbecoming a person who doesn't take care of their looks or who doesn't take care of themselves you guys are unbecoming that and becoming a person who is confident within themselves okay and with the next card it says forgiveness so i'm getting that you guys are letting go of a lot of grudges you guys are unbecoming a person who holds on to grudges and you guys are just like it is what it is like that's what i'm hearing somebody say it is what it is like i'm moving forward with my life and i'm not looking back that's what i'm hearing for somebody okay you guys are really stepping into this adult energy you guys are maturing so you guys are letting go of any energy that is making you immature and you guys are really stepping into this more mature energy a person who takes care of the things that they have in their life properly and i'm also getting that you guys are unbecoming a person who is reckless with the material things that you guys have so spirit is saying if you guys have material things that you guys do not take care of but you guys are looking at somebody else's material things and you guys are like oh like i wish i had that but you guys don't take care of your own spirit is saying you can't level up if you guys don't take care of what you guys already have so spirit is saying be grateful for what you guys have so that was you guys this reading if this reading resonated with you guys make sure you comment down below if you guys are choosing another pile i will see you soon but if you guys are going to click off this reading make sure you guys like share and subscribe to my channel see you guys next time and bye y'all Hey, pile number two, welcome to your reading. So before I get into your cards or anything, I'm gonna tell you why you chose this Labradorite crystal. So with this crystal, I'm getting that you guys are unbecoming a person who is like afraid of like their spirituality or afraid of like diving deep and like knowing themselves, okay? So you guys are becoming a lot more self-aware on your next glow up and you guys are like really taking accountability for your actions. And I'm getting like, you guys are like really looking at your dreams in like a deeper meaning or somebody's doing that like right now like you guys are like looking at your dreams and being like okay this is why i do the things that i do or you guys are like diving deep into like your subconscious mind okay you guys are really cleansing your subconscious mind and becoming a more confident version of yourself like you guys are unbecoming a person who is like lacking of confidence somebody who is afraid of themselves like afraid of like their physical appearance i'm getting like it's not more so like afraid like ah uh, like i'm scared but it's more so like you guys don't really like how you guys look so I'm getting that you guys are unbecoming a person who has body dysmorphia and you guys are working on your body like you guys are working on feeling good about your body like going out and actually feeling good about your body. So I'm getting that you guys could be working on like your wardrobe or just like working on your physical body working on like 
things that you guys physically put in your body and feeling a lot more um, good about yourself when you guys are eating okay that's what I'm getting you guys are like releasing any diets that are no longer serving you okay diets that don't make you guys feel good about yourself it's just like keeping you in the stagnant energy so I'm getting that you guys are like actually like having a balanced diet instead of like trying to have this diet that everybody else is on that's what i'm getting like you guys are actually like healing your body with what you guys need to eat for your own body so you guys could be going to like a nutritionist or you guys could be a nutritionist and you guys are helping people on that and you guys are feeling a lot more confident while helping people as a nutritionist that's what i'm getting and you guys are unbecoming a person who is afraid to put themselves out there when it comes to like their career okay because i'm getting like your career is about to like set off or about to go off in like a good way Way, okay and you guys are like uh like i don't know if i'm ready for this but spirit is saying like you're ready like spirit is saying like you're ready and you need to like get your mind ready so that you guys can move forward in confidence so i'm getting that you guys are working on like your spiritual like um self like your spiritual abilities if you guys are like a tarot reader or you guys do something like holistic okay or you guys could be like studying something and like you guys may not feel confident when taking a test so you guys are like unbecoming a person who is like afraid of like taking tests and i'm getting like it's because you guys are like working on how you guys study okay so with that being said let's get into your overall energy and i use the moonlight oracle deck and it says eclipse it says transformation so you guys could be a scorpio or have scorpio in your chart or you guys could be a water sign so pisces cancer or scorpio or you guys could have heavy scorpio placements in your chart or i'm also getting earth signs so capricorn taurus or virgo or you guys could have those placements in your chart but i'm getting that you guys are really grounding yourself in order to move forward in this transformation like you guys are no longer going to be afraid of change you guys are no longer going to like prolong this change that is happening in your life and you guys are just like okay screw it like i'm gonna do it like i'm not afraid anymore or even if you guys are afraid you guys are doing it anyway like that's the energy that i'm getting okay so i'm getting that you guys are like really working on grounding your energy really working from like your root chakra and moving forward from there okay because i'm getting that you guys could be doing like something when it comes to like grounding yourself like hugging trees um being out in nature more um you guys could be going camping or hiking like in the morning okay that you guys can ground yourself and i'm getting that it's really gonna help you come into like this next glow up okay and i'm getting that you guys are unbecoming a person who is like afraid of like glowing up a person who is like afraid of change because i'm getting like maybe in the past change really scared you um maybe in the past like you guys had to move from like home to home and it's like that trauma is still stuck within you not having somewhere that was like stable but i'm getting that you guys are like really i'm becoming a person who is like afraid of change because of that trauma okay so you guys are working on things that like really hurt you in the past and i'm becoming that version of yourself okay so let's get into your tarot cards and with the first card that i have it's the king of pentacles in reverse so with the king of pentacles in reverse i'm getting that again you guys could have earth placements in your chart heavy taurus energy so i'm getting that you guys are becoming a person who is like um more financially stable and you guys are unbecoming a person who like is careless about their finances somebody who does not budget somebody who is just like oh whatever it is what it is like you guys are actually working on your finances to for somebody get out of debt so you guys are getting out of debt by actually taking action to get out of debt and i'm getting that you guys are spending your time energy and money on things that you guys actually need and spending less money on things that 
really don't have your best interests or like things that you guys may use for like a week and then you guys don't use it at all like the next week that's what i'm getting and i'm getting like you guys are breaking free of like this karmic debt of like being in like this poor mindset okay being in this energy of being like okay well i'm just gonna get it because i didn't have it as a child but you guys really don't need it like that's the energy that i'm getting like you guys are telling your inner child no to things that you guys don't really need that are not gonna like actually fulfill your inner child is going to make your inner child feel a lot emptier okay that's what i'm getting you guys are really stepping into this energy of like working on your inner child on a different level okay like instead of like materialistic things you guys are giving your inner child things that like are more emotional like the more emotional healing um you guys could be like spending money on your inner child but at the same time it's like things that actually like can help you move forward so i'm getting that you guys are investing your time energy and money into like school or classes or uh, i'm getting like a pottery class for somebody or um it's like you guys are investing in the skills that are going to like uplift your inner child that's what i'm getting okay so instead of like spending your money on like maybe designer items like every single week you guys are more so investing your money into things that are going to like help you level up and with the next card i have the five of swords so you guys are getting out of like this victim mentality or feeling like you guys are super overwhelmed with like work or with the things that you guys have around you okay because i'm getting like with this group you guys could be a little younger so it's like you guys are like getting on like a bigger salary so it's like you guys have money to like spend but you guys are actually investing your money into things that are going to like help you in the future okay and i'm also getting that you guys are getting out of like this victim mentality of feeling like you guys are still like hurt okay like i'm getting like you guys now have the power to move forward and you guys are unbecoming a person who is like still stuck in that energy of feeling like they don't have the power in order to move forward so i'm getting that you guys are unbecoming a person who is like overthinking all the time you guys are actually coming up with like a logical plan in order to move forward in your present moment and with the next card i have the card the death card so you guys are definitely making a lot of change in your present moment and i'm getting that it's because you guys are like letting go of feeling overwhelmed or letting go of feeling like change is something scary because i'm getting like again in the past like change was something very scary for you it was something that was like keeping you up at night or change is something that is keeping you up at night and you guys are like unbecoming a person who is like not getting enough sleep or somebody who is like in physical pain that's what i'm getting like you guys could be getting some sort of like surgery or you guys could be working on some sort of like change in order to like change your life for the better okay so you guys could be going towards something that is going to help you like physically or even emotionally so you guys could be going to therapy in order to like help you like move forward in this change okay and with the next card i have the card the five of pentacles so you guys are unbecoming this person who feels lost in their life okay so i'm getting like you guys may feel lost in your life because somebody may seem ahead of you or as may seem like behind in your life but spirit is saying like you guys are on your own path and your path may take a little bit longer than somebody else's because you guys are not trying to play anybody so i'm getting that spirit is saying like relax you got this like allow this change to happen and allow yourself to like really budget out some things that's what spirit is saying and 
Spirit is saying you guys are coming into this energy of perseverance. Like even if you guys don't see the results as of right now, you guys are still going to be moving forward because you guys are unbecoming a person who feels lost, unbecoming a person who just feels like their life is not going in the way that they thought it should go. Okay, so you guys are letting go of that control and you guys are just like, okay, I can handle anything that comes my way. So you guys are becoming a lot more adaptable and I'm getting like you guys could be an Aquarius or or be an air sign but like heavy Aquarius energy and with the air signs it's Libra Aquarius or Gemini or you guys could have those placements in your chart okay and with the next card I have the four of cups so like I said before you guys are like really letting go of like this energy of feeling like oh like I didn't do the best that I could do today or oh like this happened in the past and I can't get over it like you guys are unbecoming that person and you guys are like really stepping into this energy of being like you know what I have so many opportunities in front of me and those are the opportunities that I'm gonna go towards because if they weren't opportunities for me, they wouldn't have presented themselves to me, okay? So I'm getting that you guys are actually feeling worthy of these opportunities that are coming your way. And you guys are unbecoming a person who just feels like they're not worthy of these opportunities. Feeling like you guys are not worthy of like stepping into your power even more, okay? Because I'm getting like spirit is trying to like wake somebody up. Like you guys could be like on the verge to like going through like another awakening and spirit is like wake up like you're you're almost there like just wake up and i'm getting like somebody could be having like dreams that they're almost there like you guys are like almost to like the finish line but you guys need to like wake up like it could be like literally wake up or wake up to your potential that's what i'm getting okay so i'm getting that you guys are unbecoming a person who doesn't see their potential or who doesn't see the opportunities that they have in their present moment okay and with the wheel of fortune i'm getting that spirit is definitely waking somebody up spirit is like okay listen this is an opportunity that is so amazing for you and whether you like it or not it's coming towards you okay so be ready for it because you're going to get the opportunity either way but you need to feel worthy of that opportunity so that you can do the best that you can do in your present moment so spirit is saying like if the opportunity was not for you it wouldn't have presented itself to you so spirit is saying you guys are unbecoming a person who doesn't feel worthy that's what i'm getting like you guys are like becoming more confident within yourself you guys are like um really stepping into this energy of being like yeah i'm in my power and i accept that i'm in my power because i'm getting that you guys humbled yourself way too long or you guys like humbled yourself when you guys didn't need to humble yourself. So Spirit is saying you need to like step into your power and be like, yeah, I'm actually really good at this and really accept your skills. That's what I'm getting. Like Spirit is saying be more confident within yourself because of like the skills that you guys have like invested in. That's what I'm getting. Like Spirit is saying use the education that you guys already have to move forward in your present moment. Because Spirit is saying this change is happening whether you like it or not so get it together that's what the spirit is saying like spirit is saying like get it together and i'm getting like your spirit guides could be a little bit harder on you because that's like what you respond to uh the most and spirit is like like they don't really mean to be as hard on you but it's like you only respond to like that type of energy so spirit is saying like if you responded to something else like they would show it to you in like that energy that you respond to like a softer energy that you respond to but uh spirit is saying like at this moment they're giving you a lot more tough love okay so you guys could be a sagittarius or have sagittarius in your chart but i'm getting like you guys have like a lot of change coming your way and with the moonology cards i have the card oh wait hold up i have the cards work through your fears 
So like I said, again, you guys are unbecoming a person who is fearful of like what's going to happen next or how things are going to happen or how this change is supposed to happen. Like you guys are just going with the flow, like in this next glow up, you guys are going with the flow and like really accepting things for how they like how they happen. OK, because I'm getting like spirit is saying like this change is going to happen either way and spirit is saying like if you guys try to control it it's not going to go in the way that you guys think it is but if you don't try to control it spirit is saying it's going to go in the way that is for your highest good so spirit is saying let go of your fears let go of like feeling like you're not worthy enough let go of like feeling like you can't move forward spirit is saying you can move forward if you guys need help spirit is saying ask for help it could be in the physical realm or it could be in the spiritual realm or both so spirit is saying if you need help ask for help and with the next card i have the card expect powerful change oh my god you guys are going through like this major glow up okay like this major glow up and it's something that is super big okay and i'm getting like you can't like back down like you can't hide in this box anymore spirit is saying you can't hide from the world anymore like it's gonna happen so i'm getting that if you guys are on social media like your following is about to get like a lot more like you guys are about to get a lot more followers or you guys are about to be recognized for your accomplishments or you guys are about to achieve something really major in your life something that is like gonna like help boost your career or boost like an area in your life okay and spirit is saying you need to let go of these limited beliefs in order to move forward so i'm getting that you guys are unbecoming a person who believes in these limited beliefs okay and with the next card it says bring love into the situation it says new moon in aquarius so like i said before heavy aquarius in this chart i'm getting that you guys are unbecoming a person who doesn't like to adapt or doesn't know how to adapt so i'm getting that you guys could be brought a person in your life or somebody new is coming into your life to teach you how to adapt in different situations in your life okay so you guys are unbecoming a person who is like afraid of change like somebody who is like deeply afraid of change like they like to do the same thing over and over and over again and spirit is like okay this foundation is no longer working and i'm gonna change it you're not changing it so i'm changing it and spirit is saying like no more of this like we got to move forward like you got to move forward that's what i'm hearing somebody spirit guides say and with the priestess of light oracle cards i have the card adjustment it says looking back and moving forward so i'm getting that you guys are unbecoming a person who is looking at the past in a way of where they're regretful you guys are unbecoming that person in order to move forward and be a lot more confident within yourself so i'm getting that you guys are like really paying attention to the details in your present moment like you guys are becoming more present in order to live your best life because i'm getting like something major is gonna happen to you and it's something that you guys gotta be a hundred percent present for okay like a hundred percent and spirit is saying when you're a hundred percent present for it and you feel worthy of it that's when it's going to happen that's when things are going to like start shifting in your favor that's what i'm getting okay and with the next card it says healing earth it says the power to give and receive healing so i'm getting that if you guys are working on something in your career and you're like oh like i don't know if it's good enough like i don't know if people would like it spirit is saying the only person who has to like it is you and spirit is saying if you like it so much so will the people that are in your community or like the people that really resonate with you they'll like it okay so spirit is saying don't worry about how anybody else who doesn't really get like what you guys are doing like spirit is saying don't worry about those people like you guys are unbecoming a person who is like so fearful of what other people have to think and say spirit is saying like get into alignment with who you guys truly are in order to move forward in your present moment don't worry about these people okay like if you really want to do something in your life and you feel like it's meant to be on the internet or you guys feel like you guys are meant to speak about it spirit is saying go ahead and speak about it like it doesn't matter what anybody else's opinion is 
It's like you need to step into your power in order to attract the collective that is for you, okay? And with the next card, it says circle of eternal joy. It says timelessness and dance of life. So I'm getting like, you guys are like really unbecoming a person who is like heavily doing things for like the moment. Like I'm getting that you guys could be, yes, in your present moment, but like you guys are like, focused on your present but also like doing things that like help your future self out and it could be small things like getting your clothes out for the next day and i'm getting like doing stuff like that like really saves you time and that's the energy that i'm getting like you guys are like saving yourself time by doing things that will save you time money energy that's what i'm getting like you guys are not going to go back and forth with somebody who doesn't even really understand what you're talking about like that's the energy that i'm getting okay so spirit is saying if you guys have been doing that you guys are unbecoming a person who does that because you guys are no longer wasting your time that's what i'm getting and with the dream decoder deck i have the card family so i'm getting that you guys are unbecoming a person who ignores a lot of family issues so i'm getting that you guys could be like the black sheep in your family and now you guys are like really speaking about things like you guys are really bringing up things in order to heal from them okay so you guys could be doing your shadow work you guys could be working on like how you guys present yourself to people and like really healing yourself from not having like a stable home in the past maybe you guys didn't have have a stable home and now you guys are like um recreating like a stable home for yourself in order for you guys to like feel more comfortable putting yourself out there that's what i'm getting and with the card water i'm getting that another change card you guys can be a water sign or have water in your chart but i'm getting that you guys are no longer looking at the situation of being like half empty or um you guys are like looking at the situation in like a more um optimistic way okay so you guys are becoming a lot more hopeful in your present moment so i'm getting like you guys are unbecoming a person who is hopeless somebody who doesn't know how to move forward somebody who doesn't believe in themselves you guys are believing in yourself now and you guys are like stepping into your power like in your next glow up okay and with the card feeling trapped you guys are no longer feeling trapped i'm getting like you guys are coming out of that energy in order to move forward like you guys are letting yourself out of this box of how everybody else should perceive you or how everybody else is like going to look at you you guys are letting that go and being like this is who i am and if you like me you like me if you don't you don't so i'm getting like you guys are really accepting your authentic self in order to move forward in your present moment and with the last cards from the power of love oracle deck i have the card empathy so i'm getting that you guys are showing yourself and a lot of others like a lot more empathy okay and i'm getting like you guys are showing the right people empathy and i'm getting like you guys are cleansing your energy you guys are unbecoming a person who um doesn't cleanse their energy somebody who feels trapped in their body okay um somebody who is working on like feeling good about their body and you guys are like really working on your kindness towards yourself so that you guys can spread that kindness towards everybody else okay so i'm getting that you guys are really working on who you guys see in the mirror spirit is saying like you guys were chosen for a reason so if you guys doubt that you guys are doubting like what you guys came here for you're doubting your purpose and spirit is saying like you guys need to step into your purpose in order for other people to step into their purpose okay and with the next card, I have the card gratitude. So you guys are unbecoming a person who is ungrateful for what they have. And I'm getting like, you guys are like coming out of that energy by being more a uh, present and just being like, oh, I'm so grateful for what I have in my present moment. Like I'm so grateful to have like a stable home or I'm so grateful for everything that just happened to me in my present moment. Like I'm so grateful for these opportunities, this change. Um, even if this change is just like so overwhelming at the time, like I'm so grateful for it because I know it's going to help me get to the place that I want to be in. Okay. 
and with the last card it says kindness so i'm getting that you guys are unbecoming a person who is unkind to yourself and i'm getting like it's more so like you guys are working on your self-love and how you guys feel about yourself on a soul level okay you guys are like unbecoming what you guys see in the mirror and you guys are like okay this is who i know i am on the inside and now i'm going to push myself to see that on the outside okay like that's what i'm getting so that was you guys this reading if this reading resonated with you guys make sure you comment down below also if you guys are going to choose another pile i will see you soon but if you guys are going to click off this reading make sure you guys like share and subscribe to my channel see you guys next time and bye y'all Hey pile number three, welcome to your reading. So before I get into your cards or anything, I'm gonna tell you why you chose this Unikite crystal. So with this crystal, I'm getting that you guys could be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio or have those placements heavy in your chart. I'm getting like heavy Pisces energy in your chart. Um, and I'm also getting that you guys could be an Earth sign. So Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, or heavy Virgo and Capricorn placements. And I'm getting that you guys are like really unbecoming a person who is like insecure about themselves, insecure about their money habits, insecure about the person that they're with romantically. Maybe this person is like not treating you in the way that you guys used to get treated in the past. And Spirit is saying like, like you guys need to have like a backbone in order to get exactly what you guys deserve spirit is saying it's either you guys are going to leave this person or you guys are going to tell this person what you guys deserve and if they do not treat you in the way that you guys deserve spirit is saying you got to leave them like you got to show them that you guys are worthy of much more okay so spirit is saying you guys are coming into this energy of feeling a lot more confident within yourself when it comes to like this next glow up and i'm also getting that you guys are unbecoming a person who is insecure about their body or their body issues okay so i'm getting that you guys are really coming into this energy of like working on your body or just feeling beautiful the way that you guys are and i'm getting that you guys are healing yourself from like the traumatic situations that happen to you make you feel insecure about yourself and spirit is saying like you guys are unbecoming that version of yourself that felt insecure in the past okay so i'm getting like you guys are heavily working on yourself when it comes to like these past issues or um you guys are like working on your emotional state okay you guys are becoming a lot more emotionally intelligent and i'm getting that you guys could be working on your shadow work a lot more when it comes to like how you guys feel about yourself emotionally okay so i'm getting that you guys are like letting go of blaming yourself of how things happened to you in the past and you guys are like really stepping into this energy of being like okay these people from the past like they did this because of their insecurities and now i have to like move forward in like a healed way like i have to heal myself from this in order to move forward in better opportunities for myself okay so with that being said let's get into your overall energy and i use the moonlight oracle deck and it says yemma it says goddess of the sea and mother of all so i'm getting that you guys are really stepping into this energy of feeling a lot more confident in yourself feeling like you guys are worthy of the opportunities that you guys have and i'm getting that you guys could be stepping into more environments that like make you feel confident within yourself like you guys could be like reaching out in like a community that makes you feel confident within yourself or that understands you okay and you guys are like really coming into this energy of just like accepting yourself for who you guys are like accepting that you guys are moving forward without like this trauma like, i'm getting that you guys are unbecoming a person who like is still holding on to this trauma who is like still holding on to like um this baggage okay so you guys are letting go of this baggage from your past in order to like have a healthy relationship with yourself and with others in your present moment okay and you guys are like really growing when it comes to like planting your seeds okay because i'm getting like you guys are planting your seeds but because of like the way that you guys feel about yourself it's taking a little bit longer to manifest them so i'm getting that you guys could be letting go of like 
being overly obsessed with like the results that you guys want to get and spirit is saying like you guys need to live your life in your present moment in order to like allow these opportunities to grow okay so spirit is saying like it's going to take some time for these opportunities to grow and you guys need to be patient so i'm getting that you guys are really letting go of feeling impatient you guys are unbecoming impatient in your present moment and i'm getting that you guys are like really stepping into your worth really seeing what you guys are worthy of and allowing yourself to create freely so i'm getting that you guys are stepping out of this energy of feeling like you guys are not worthy of creating or feeling like creating is something only children do like that's what i'm getting like you guys are coming into like a new mindset and you guys are releasing that old mindset that is like keeping you in the stagnant energy so with that being said let's get into your tarot cards and with the first card that i have it's the hang woman so i'm getting that you guys are stepping out of this energy of feeling like you're trapped feeling like you guys don't have the energy to move forward like spirit is saying you guys are the only one that's keeping you guys trapped like you're just saying everything that is happening in your life is because it needs to happen in this way so spirit is saying like once you change your mindset that's when you'll like shift into this energy of like feeling unstuck or feeling like things are just flowing a lot more in your life okay because i'm getting like you're like oh my gosh like why is this happening like what's happening like why is this happening and i'm getting like because you guys are going into that why it's like you guys are blaming yourself for why certain things that are like negative that are happening and spirit is saying like it's literally not your fault it's because of like the balance in the universe so spirit is saying like you guys are going to make a lot more progress when you guys stop blaming yourself and that's what i'm getting like you guys are i'm becoming a person who is like really hard on themselves i'm becoming a person who like is not recognizing when they're doing a good job that's what i'm getting okay so you guys are getting yourself unstuck by recognizing your accomplishments recognizing that you guys are doing a good job and you guys don't need that extra validation from your partner from your business partner from your boss like spirit is saying you guys need to recognize when you're doing a good job and being like yeah i did a good job like i'm confident in the work that i'm doing right now okay so with your next card i have the chariot in reverse so i'm getting that you guys are unbecoming a person who doesn't have willpower somebody who just lets somebody like walk all over them or um becoming a person who just like is like oh like i'll do it tomorrow like somebody who is like in this energy of like procrastination you guys are unbecoming that and you guys are managing your time correctly and I'm also getting that you guys are becoming less insecure about yourself. Like, that's what I'm getting. Like, I'm getting like, you guys procrastinate a lot because you guys want things to be perfect. And Spirit is saying like, that's keeping you in this stagnant energy. Like, that's keeping you in this energy of feeling like you guys aren't worthy of moving forward. And Spirit is saying it doesn't have to be perfect. As long as you like it, that's all that matters. Okay. And with the next card i have the nine of swords so you guys are definitely unbecoming a person who is worried about like what's happening in the future or what's happening like in your present moment or how things are going to happen or why things are happening that way um you guys are unbecoming a person who overthinks about certain things that shouldn't be overthought about or i shouldn't say that like it's like you guys know that you guys shouldn't be overthinking that's what i'm getting but it's like it's hard to like break that habit so i'm getting that you guys are unbecoming a person who like is overthinking or believes that it's hard to break that habit like i'm getting like you guys are breaking a lot of like mental habits that you guys have and i'm getting like it's more so because you guys are like creating a healthy outlet for yourself like you guys are allowing yourself to create freely without like being like okay this isn't perfect so i'm getting like in your past and like maybe in your childhood like in your childhood home or like from your parents you got the idea that everything has to be perfect everything has to be like 
in order or i'm getting like this energy of like ocd so i'm getting like you guys could be like getting help when it comes to like your ocd or you guys could be getting like your emotions in check to like balance your ocd because i'm getting like this energy of like needing things to be like perfect like you guys are coming out of that energy in order to move forward in your next glow up. You guys are coming in this energy of just like mental clarity, okay? Like getting this energy of how to move forward in your present moment. And with the next card, I have the card, the seven of cups. So I'm getting like, you guys have so many opportunities in front of you. And sometimes it may be hard to choose one. So I'm getting that you guys are unbecoming a person who doesn't use discernment when it comes to these different opportunities or these different people that are coming into your life. Okay, because certain people that come into your life, they see your light and they're like, oh, like, I love that. Like, let me just steal that. So you guys are using your discernment in your next glow up like. For your next glow up in order to move forward in your present moment you guys are becoming somebody who is more mentally and emotionally stable in order to choose these options that are for your highest good and you guys are stepping into this energy of feeling a lot more worthier of yourself in order to move forward okay and with the next card i have the card the ten of swords so i'm getting that you guys are like really getting out of this energy of feeling like you guys were stabbed in the back and you guys are like okay my life needs to move forward and i don't really care how these people feel about me i'm gonna move forward in a way that is for my highest good okay so i'm getting like you guys could have got stabbed in the back by a friend a family member um somebody in the past a person that you guys were in a romantic relationship with you guys could have got stabbed in the back and you guys were like still holding on to that energy and you guys are unbecoming a person who is stagnant because of that okay so i'm getting that you guys are pulling each sword out one by one and you guys are like this is not who i am this is not who i am this is not who i am and you guys are like saying affirmations to tell you who you truly are okay so i'm getting that you guys are allowing your actions to tell you who you truly are so i'm getting that you guys are becoming a person who is more stable when it comes to taking action towards the things that are for their highest good and with the next card i have the four of pentacles in reverse so i'm getting that you guys are unbecoming a person who is unfinancially stable you guys could be working on your credit if that's something that you guys are working on or you guys are like really working on becoming more financially stable that's what i'm getting like you guys are working on your finances you guys are um i'm becoming a person who is worried about their finances because of um maybe losing a job or maybe you guys like got out of like a difficult relationship and they were paying a lot of the bills and now you guys are coming into this energy of where you guys have to be independent. So I'm getting like, you guys are like unbecoming a person who is like codependent on somebody. And you guys are really stepping into this energy of being like, okay, this is what I can do for myself. And I'm going to be budgeting or I'm going to get like a second job. And I'm going to like balance out the things that I have to do daily in order to move forward and go with the flow. Okay, that's what I'm getting. And with the Moonlight Oracle deck, I have the cards. Time to give rather than take. It says new moon in Virgo. So I'm getting that you guys are really taking your time in order to like come into this new beginning. Okay, because I'm getting like you guys are like coming into this major change and you're a little worried about like your finances or how to move forward you guys are unbecoming a person who just feels like they're unworthy of like moving forward or you guys felt like you guys deserved like this hurt in the past for some reason maybe like you guys had like uh, an emotionally abusive person in your life and you guys just felt like because you guys were hearing that over and over and over again like some sort of affirmation over and over again that you guys were that person so you guys are unbecoming that person who believes that okay you guys are believing affirmations that are actually true to your soul instead of true to this ego that you guys have created okay or um 
I'm getting like, you guys are standing up for yourself a lot more. That's what I'm getting. And you guys are like giving your time and energy to the right people, the right environments. And you guys are like letting go of these people or environments that are like no longer serving you. And you guys are like creating a new um, perspective for yourself. That's what I'm getting. So you guys are releasing that old perspective in order to move forward in your present moment. And with the next card, it says, look at the bigger picture. It says full moon in Sagittarius. So you guys could be a Sagittarius or have Sagittarius in your chart. But I'm getting that you guys are looking at the bigger picture in order to move forward, in order to get out of this energy of feeling overly worried or overthinking about how you guys are going to move forward, how things are going to happen. Spirit is saying like things are going to happen for you and for your highest good. And you have to believe that and you have to take action towards these opportunities that are for your highest good okay and use your discernment like spirit is saying use your discernment listen to your intuition okay and believe that things are working out for you again heavy virgo energy in this chart and with the card the energy is gaining momentum it says waxing moon so i'm getting that you guys are being your own leader in your present moment so you guys are i'm becoming a follower and when I say a follower, a follower of things that are not for your highest good, okay? Like you guys are, I'm becoming a person who just follows anybody and everybody because you guys love them, okay? You guys can love somebody from a distance, but like still like work on yourself and do things that are for your highest good. That's what I'm getting. Like you guys are unbecoming a person who just follows anybody and everybody just because you guys love them or just because you guys have love for them, okay? You guys are like, okay, I need to get my life together, like I know this person has their life together, but I need to get my life together. That's what I'm getting. Like you guys are like really trusting in yourself now or you guys are coming into that energy of where you're really trusting in yourself in order to move forward for your next glow up. Okay. And with the power of love Oracle deck, I have the cards. Clairvoyant, it says inspiration, interpretation, and trust. So like I said before, you guys are building this trust within yourself in order to move forward and trust your intuition, trust spirit. So I'm getting like, you guys are like really trusting spirit on this path or you guys have to trust spirit on this path in order to move forward. And you guys are unbecoming a person who is like skeptical about like anything and everything that is for your highest good. For somebody's spirit guide, I'm getting like someone saying you're skeptical about the wrong thing. Things. So spirit is saying that you guys are like gaining this inspiration back because you guys are feeling a lot more worthy of yourself and you guys are releasing this energy of just feeling like you're not worthy of what you guys are about to create or you're not worthy of like moving forward because of these things things that happened to you in your past like spirit is saying you are not your past so you need to like move forward in the energy of who you guys want to be okay like you're not your past you guys are not the person who you guys were in the past you guys have changed so you guys need to accept that you guys have changed and move forward in that way okay so i'm getting that you guys could be interpreting things like in a better way now so you guys are i'm becoming a person who like interprets things in like an offensive way and you guys are becoming a person who is like a lot more mature emotionally and can handle like the truth that's what i'm getting okay and with the next card i have the card touching earth it says planting something new so i'm getting that you guys could be working on a big project or you guys could be working on something that is like super major or something that's like very important to you in your life okay and spirit is saying you guys are unbecoming a person who is afraid to take a leap of faith in their present moment or afraid to plant their seeds because of somebody else already doing it or somebody in your past already doing it spirit is saying it doesn't matter the way that you guys do something Thing is going to be recognized okay so spirit is saying you guys need to have like a practical plan and you guys need to move forward in your present moment and believe in yourself like spirit is saying don't stop until you get exactly what you guys want that's what i'm getting okay and with the next card i have the card divine masculine it says electric and active power so you guys are definitely about to be taking a lot more action in your present moment and you guys are unbecoming a person who just like 
is not taking action or knows that they have to take action but they're like oh like i'm afraid or uh i'll do it tomorrow like you guys are like steadily putting it off like i'm getting like you guys are getting out of that energy in order to take action towards the things that you guys truly believe in okay you guys are letting go of that fear and those energy blocks in order to move forward in your present moment you guys are getting this boost of inspiration in order to take action so spirit is saying when you get that boost of inspiration spirit is saying move forward like do not stop until you get exactly what you guys deserve okay spirit is saying it's okay to take a break but also remind yourself why you started what you guys started okay like that's what i'm getting like spirit is saying like you guys are unbecoming a person who is like in this imposter syndrome okay you guys are letting that go in order to move forward in your present moment i'm getting like you guys are like i know i could do this spirit knows i could do this i have people around me knowing that i could do this so I need to believe in myself, okay? Like I truly need to believe in myself, okay? And with the next cards, they are from the Dream Decoder deck. And I, the first card that I have is Drowning. So I'm getting that you guys are letting go of these intense emotions that are keeping you from moving forward or keeping you down in your emotions, okay? So I'm getting like, Again, you guys are releasing this imposter syndrome in order to move forward in your present moment. Like you guys are like, no, I can do this. And I know that I'm in this energy of fear, but I'm going to move forward anyway, because I know that this opportunity is for my highest good. OK, so you guys are moving forward, even if you guys are like fearful about it or even if you guys are like, oh, I don't really know if I can do this. You guys are stepping into this energy of being like, you know what? screw it i'm gonna do it anyway like it is what it is like I'm, I'm gonna live my life i'm hearing the word yolo and i haven't heard that like in like such a long time but i'm getting like you only live once so i'm getting like you guys are like really stepping into that energy when it comes to like your glow up okay like your next glow up and with the next card it says musical instrument so i'm getting that you guys are coming into this energy of where you're releasing this unoptimistic energy okay like this pessimistic energy this energy of where you guys don't feel good enough to move forward this energy of where it's like you're still overthinking about how to move forward spirit is saying you guys are going to create a practical plan and even if that plan doesn't go according to plan spirit is saying like we got you okay like spirit is saying we got you so just move forward in the way that is for your highest good like don't really think about how anybody else is like thinking about what you guys are doing spirit is saying you guys are doing what you guys are doing in your present moment for a reason like this is happening for a reason okay and with the next card it says elderly people so i'm getting that you guys are really like letting go of like this energy of where you're so fragile to the point of where you can't take criticism okay so i'm getting like you guys are releasing that energy of where you can't take constructive criticism and i get like when people are like trying to like make you feel bad for what you guys are doing um but i'm getting that you guys are unbecoming a person who is so fragile that they can't take constructive criticism in order to move forward and become a better person so i'm getting that you guys are like really um maturing and you guys are becoming a better person because of that okay and with the last cards from the power of love oracle deck i have the card respect so i'm getting that you guys are unbecoming a person who is not respected okay so i'm getting like because you guys are coming into this energy of where you're using a lot more willpower you guys are going to be respected on a different level okay so i'm getting that do not allow anybody to walk all over you or you guys are coming out of that energy and you guys are like really respecting yourself and because you guys are respecting yourself you guys are setting the tone for everybody else to respect you and if somebody is not respecting you you guys are going to speak out on it okay like you guys are going to stand up for yourself so i'm getting like you guys are letting go of this version of yourself that didn't speak up for yourself and you guys are actually speaking up for yourself now okay 
and with the next card i have the card present so you guys are becoming more present in your present moment like you guys are um enjoying what you guys have you guys are enjoying the people places environments that are for your highest good and you guys are taking action in your present moment as well so you guys are unbecoming a person who again is like in this procrastinating energy or who doesn't feel worthy enough to move forward in their present moment you guys are releasing that in order to like fully like be aware of your present moment and what you guys can take action towards so i'm getting like you guys are unbecoming a person who just feels like they can't take action because they can't control one certain thing and i'm getting like with this next globe you guys are like okay what can i control like what can i take action towards right now okay and what the next card it says harmony so i'm getting that you guys are coming out of this energy of where you didn't feel harmonious where you guys didn't feel like you guys were going on the right path you guys are coming into alignment in order to move forward in your present moment and really stepping into this energy of being like you know what i can do this like even if nobody that i know is supporting me I know that spirit is supporting me and I support myself so I'll attract the people that need to support me like that's the energy that I'm getting okay so that was you guys this reading if this reading resonated with you guys make sure you comment down below also make sure you guys like share and subscribe to my channel see you guys next time and bye y'all